Hi, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this very simple, quick and easy poster in Canva. So let's go to the home page of Canva, go to create a design and I'm simply going to use a document A4 portrait. If you can't find it, just type in at the top A4 portrait and there you go at the top, you'll have A4 portrait. Now the simplest thing to do for your poster is to find a background that's already vibrant and bright and one that you don't have to do too much work to. So if we go down to apps, then in the search bar here, type in Pexels, click on Pexels and you'll see this app here. Just click on that and this will take you to a vast range of free images. So in the search bar, all I typed in was summer graphics, press enter, and then I simply scroll down and select from any kind of vibrant background that I can find. You can type in anything, it doesn't matter, but that was just my personal choice. Then I clicked on this image here and once it's inserted, I just simply use this rotation icon here to turn it round so it's vertical. And then just using the corner balls, just click and drag out to cover your page. Once that's done, go to text, click on add a heading. And in here, we'll just type in the word summer and we'll go to the color, click on white. If it doesn't change, just deselect everything by clicking on the outside here. Reselect just that text. Go to text color and click white. Then click on the drop down here. You can select from any of these fonts. I'm going to select this one here. And then I'm simply going to go up to the top here and change the font size to 110 and press enter. Then I'm just simply going to move this over to the side. And then here you can see an icon that says duplicate. If you can't see it, just deselect it, reselect it, and then you should see duplicate. Just click and drag that down there. Just going to double click inside, press command or control A to select everything, and then just type the next word, and then deselect, reselect it, and duplicate. Do exactly the same here. And then I'm just going to duplicate it one more time to put in the date at the top. But here I'm just going to click and drag across these three. Then I'm going to go to position. Then over here I'm going to select vertically and that will mean there will be an equal distance between each word. Then I'm going to align them to the left and then I'm going to group them together. That means I can just move them around as a group and place them wherever I need them. In the top here, I'm just going to select the text and type in a date and then deselect it. Make sure your cursor is not inside. If it is, you can press Command or Control A to select all of the text. Then over here, I'm just going to change my font size to 71 and then I'm going to move it over. If you can't move it, just again deselect it and when you reselect it, you should be able to move it. And I'm going to duplicate it once again and move it down to the bottom. Again, select all of the text. I'm going to change the font size here to 20. Press enter. Let's just zoom in. You can use this slider here at the bottom to zoom in. And I'm just going to enter in my text. Now here, I'm just going to paste it all in because you don't want to see me type. So once it's all inserted, I'm just going to select all of this text by selecting Command or Control A. Then I'm going to go to this icon here. And if you just keep clicking, it will align your text left, right or centre and then I'm just going to place that down here. Now you can see I can't see the text particularly well so I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to go to shapes. If you can't see shapes within your menu here you can just go up to the top here and type in shapes and then click see all and then you can select from any shape you want. I'm just going to select this square then I'm going to pull this down here and then I'm just going to realign it. I'm going to put it at the bottom of those words there. And then if I go to color, you can see here I've got photo colors. And what Canva has done, it's selected the image and it's taken a range of different colors from that image. Now you can select from here or you can select any other color, but generally it's better to select one from your image to make the whole thing more coherent. So I'm going to select this one here. What I'm also going to do is go to transparency up here and just turn that down so we can actually see some of that poster through it, but our text becomes a little bit more visible. 
So with this text here, I'm going to select the text and I'm going to select this box. So click and drag across both of them. Go to position and I just want to click on middle to make sure that that text is in the middle of this box. Then I can group it together. If you hover over the top, you can see I've got group here. So that's now grouped together. Perfect. So try to make sure that the four here is lined up with the text. In order to do that, you can ungroup it. So select this box here, hold down the shift key and select this box here. You can go to position. And then if we align to right, it means that both of those are perfectly lined up. What you will notice is the four doesn't quite hit this margin here. So you can do it by eye if you want to. So once you finish creating your summer poster, go to share, download, and then you have a choice in this menu here to download it as a PNG or a JPEG or PDF file. It's completely up to you. So just go with the suggested and click download. Here you can see it downloading. And then if we go to our downloads file, you can see our posters here. If we double click here, you can see our poster and you can use that any way you like, a website, social media, or of course you can print it out. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.